Hey everyone, it's Kaylee here with Microsurvey and today I'm going to go over the licensing process for Survey Tools, the awesome new software from Brixis and Microsurvey. There's been a lot of excitement around this new release, so today you're going to learn how to get yourself a fully functional 30-day demo uh, to try out the awesome functionality for yourself. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so the way that licensing works for survey tools is that you operate the BricsCAD program and the microsurvey survey tools operates basically inside of that program. So the first thing we need to do is download BricsCAD. So if you go to the BricsCAD website and from the homepage, you're going to click get started with BricsCAD. And then I'm going to be taken to the download page here. Um, and in order to download anything uh, with BricsCAD, you're going to need to register with a BricsCAD account. So I'm going to choose uh, register to download BricsCAD. Uh, once I click on this button, I am taken to uh, this registration page uh, where you can log in if you already have an account or you can register using a variety of different options. Um, I'm going to register using my email address. Once I fill in my credentials and choose register, I'm going to opt in to the emails here. Then they're going to send me um, a code to my email just to verify that it is a legitimate email. I'm just going to check my email here and grab this code. I'm going to submit to authenticate. Now I'm taken to uh, this uh, further registration page where I need to just enter in some more details um, of my identification, which area of the world I'm in, what organization I'm with, and what type of features I'm interested in. I'm going to save, and then I get taken back to the Download BricsCAD page. But now, since I have an account, um, I can toggle to agree to the terms, and then I can hit the button to just download uh, the most recent version. So now I'll just wait for my download to uh, to come through here. Then I'm going to click on my executable file and uh, it will begin the installation wizard process. So I'm just going to agree, uh, select my download, pretty standard stuff here, and then the program will install on my computer. So that is it to get the uh, BricsCAD component of this program onto my computer. Um, and this works as a fully functional 30-day demo automatically. So now the second part of this is to get the microsurvey survey tools component uh, added on. So uh, first step is go to the microsurvey website and you want to click on the top where it says demos. Okay, so once I fill out the demo download um, information here on this page, um, I'm going to wait for an email to come in from my microsurvey representative. Um, so I'll just wait for that to come in and then we'll move on to the next part. Okay, so I am here now. I've got my email from microsurvey with the information that I need in it. Um, I have BricsCAD already downloaded from the first step. Um, so now I just uh, clicked on that download link from microsurvey. And uh, now I'm going to wait for that installation uh, wizard to run through and go through the setup here. And I'm going to run the program. Okay, so once the microsurvey uh, survey tools has finished downloading, um, I'm going to choose run. And it will launch this, what's called the BricsCAD launcher, the launch pad here. Um, so you get the option to choose which is your preferred workspace. Um, we can get into that, the, the differences between those in a different video. Uh, I'm just going to choose Civil Design because that's my favorite. And uh, wait for the program to open up. All right, so now we can see this licensing window here, which if you're familiar with microsurvey, probably looks familiar to you. Um, and if you had just double clicked on the BricsCAD shortcut on your desktop, this wouldn't open. You would just get um, regular BricsCAD open up. So you need to double click on your microsurvey survey tools icon um, in order to generate this um, login information uh, pop up here. So now uh, this is where you're going to enter the license ID and password that was sent to you um, in that email from microsurvey. And then just make sure you choose um, activate. 
And then after you hit activate, um, some details about your license will pop up here underneath. It's going to tell you your name, uh, the license version, what type of license you have, and how many days remaining on your maintenance package. Uh, so once all of that is entered, you just have to hit run. Okay, so after you hit run, the software opens up and you can see it looks a little different if you're used to microsurvey. You can see the further you look to the right, the more familiar um, these menus are going to look to you. You have your MS Tools, your MS Points, your Kogo, your MS Traverse, MS Annotate, MS Modeling, MS Design, and of course MS Help. So we're going to create a new drawing and we're just going to start from scratch. And then after you click that on your bricks CAD, you also get the project manager for microsurvey. So same idea here. You can create your project directory um, for your microsurvey points database and all of that good stuff to get directed to. Set your general configuration options. Okay, so there you have it. Um, I encourage you to check out the BricsCAD functionality, um, especially the modeling and servicing capabilities are very impressive. Um, but just as a quick demonstration, I do want to show you that uh, the microsurvey tools that you know and love are available in this interface. So I'm just going to type in Kogo. And you can see here it brings you through the Kogo routine um, exactly as it would if you were working in microsurvey. I'm just going to turn on the IPNs and the IPEs and the IPDs. So that's another feature about microsurvey that I love personally. So it's great to see that, you know, all these awesome features about microsurvey have carried through. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is enough to get you going so you can have some fun and check out uh, what this program has to offer. Okay, everyone, that is it for um, the registration process. Um, I'm not going to get too deep into any of the functionality in this video. Uh, this was simply just to show you how to get the program loaded onto your computer so you can start uh, checking it out for yourself. So.